Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Brian Bustler. I'm the superintendent of schools in the Oregon School District. And we are so delighted and privileged to be here tonight. Uh, this is a big, big event for us. Uh, I know many of you have been using Brooklyn Elementary School already and seeing the great things going on. But we wanted to make sure and have a very special, what I initially called an open house and confused my dear colleague, uh, Ms. Majeski. We turned it into the Brooklyn Fall Fest, and it's a school tour. We have a couple of us that will share some short uh, words tonight with you because we all know the best school tour is about touring the school. So we will be short with that. There are a few people I'd like to recognize, and first I'd like all of the Brooklyn staff that were involved on the design team to stand up for a second. Let's not be shy. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, the Brooklyn staff, at all of our schools, we had design teams that took the initial plans we had from the referendum, refined them a little bit, and made them better. There's no finer example of that than the room we're currently standing in. Initially, this room was square, and it was over on the right side of the building. As you look around, it doesn't look quite as square as it was as we initially designed it. And that's because our school staff made it better with our architects, which are the next group that I'd like to uh, recognize. Uh, Bray Architects from Milwaukee and Sheboygan, they have a working relationship in the Oregon School District for almost 25 years. Uh, they've done uh, the planning for us on several referendums and designed several school additions. And Nathan Sheeby, Nathan, would you uh, give everyone a wave so we know who you are? Nathan would be considered a listener extraordinaire. He will all, he always comes ready with his computer, it used to be a pencil, uh, but now his computer to modify just about any design that a staff member has an idea on. And Frey Architects have done a terrific job with us. There's a big group of folks that are involved in the actual construction progress from Findorf Construction. Anyone from Findorf, would you raise your hand? Findorf and numerous contractors have made this building look just the way it looks. And the care that they have put into the building, yeah. one of the benefits of working with a large contractor is they can bring the project in on time and on budget. And also, they have worked in Wisconsin on literally hundreds of schools, and they know that our most valuable possession are young people. We, never, we, we haven't had any concerns at all with all of the moving parts and machinery around here because I know Findorf is a safety first group that makes sure that our kids and our staff are, are, are always safe. You have the privilege tonight of learning from some excellent tour guides who are going to be stationed throughout the school. There are five special spots that we'd like you to see. You're also welcome to see the entire school. But if you pick up one of these guides and go to one of the stations, you will have some bright, shining faces of our Brooklyn Elementary School students telling you all about what they have, what they've been working on and, and experiencing so far. I had the opportunity to talk to a few students uh, over the last several months as we've transitioned into this facility, and I don't think you'll be surprised on what they had to say. Uh, a couple of students told me, this is a really cool new space. This is a real awesome space, and we love learning here. And then, of course, they, they always come back to the relationships that we've made as, as adults with them. Our teachers are the best. We love this school. I don't think I'll ever hear that enough, because that's what's at the heart of successful schools. For those of you that don't know, my wife and I happen to live in the district as well. And we live in the Brooklyn attendance area. So I frequently, as we're walking our dog in, our, in the neighborhood, I'll end up talking to young people that are students, as well as their parents. And the one thing that the parents always remind me about is how special a place Brooklyn Elementary School is. And it's special because of our adults. It's special because of this wonderful investment our community has made, but most important, all of our Brooklyn kids feel at home 
and feel valued here in the school district. That, that is really the, the mark of, of, of an excellent school. I'm going to stop with that and turn it over to one of our board members, our board president, Steve Zock, who's going to share a few words from the board perspective. Thank you, Brian. Three years ago, um, the board uh, was on one of its site visits. We tried to get to each school once a year, and we were down in Brooklyn. And that was at the same time we were developing a long-term strategic plan for our buildings, and so we sat in the old library, and one of the questions we asked was, what kind of needs do you have down there? And they pointed out the library for number one, and then we got a tour of the school where the staff here at Brooklyn identified areas of concern and areas that we ought to plan for in the future. And so some of the changes that you see tonight were part of that strategic plan. Uh, and uh, any good organization continues to invest in itself. And we have been so fortunate in the Oregon School District that the taxpayers have had the faith and trust and confidence in the administration and the board in terms of where we wanted to guide the district to support us through, through referendums. And it, it's really amazing that uh, two and a half years ago, the district taxpayers approved a $55 million referendum um, to improve and enhance our buildings. And this is one of the results of that. And it's just spectacular. We couldn't be happier with that. I think one thing that should be noted to those of you who voted for it is we were able to accomplish the building that's going on in the district really for little, no additional taxpayer cost because of the way we structured our long-term debt. And we just dropped in this debt for our existing debt that had expired. But thank you for your confidence uh, in us as a school district so that we can bring these beautiful buildings to the community. One of the board's policies is, is that we just don't have these buildings from 7.30 to 3.30 or 4. That these are truly community buildings and that they're to be used by the community. And that's been our directive is that community gets to use these. So we hope and we know that this space will be available to the community to use as, as a, a, a beautiful facility that we all share and own. Uh, one further point is we, the board has also been involved over the last three years in developing another strategic plan. This one's not about building, this one's about our teachers and how we move forward with an educator compensation plan. And we've been working hard on that. You will find information about that over there and I'll be around if you have any questions about that referendum. And we're asking for you for the district taxpayers to have the same trust and confidence in us as we did with the building projects in this educator compensation plan as we move forward. That is to reinvest in what makes this district great as our educators. So enjoy tonight and enjoy this beautiful building and uh, thank you for your confidence in us. So Carrie, I think the mic is yours. This has been an amazing process just to work with the teachers that went to the design team, that went to Findorf and Bray, down to every detail from carpet colors to structure to set up for the classroom. And they had some pretty big, lofty goals, and it was amazing to watch it all unfold and become reality. Bit by bit, our school was transformed, and the cafeteria came first, and it was like, like Christmas morning for several kids when we finally opened it, and I have several pictures of their faces as they first entered our cafeteria after spring break. This summer, it was amazing to have so much work done, and it's a, skit, it's a slim crew here in the summer for our staff, but how quickly our workers transformed the library, the classrooms, and turned other classrooms into new learning spaces. It was amazing, and it was so fun to be part of the process. I always told my husband I would never build a house, um, but now I kind of see the process and how amazing it is. It has been fun. I'd like to thank all these teachers who are here tonight. Many of them are opening up their classrooms for a peek in. I see some alumni here, some former students. Um, you are welcome to see that. But your main objective is to um, quiz our fourth graders. We have kids stationed in the cafeteria, the office, the library, the new classrooms in the back, 
the new classrooms in the front, orchestra and music. So ask them lots of questions about their new learning spaces. They are ready. They don't know what they're working for yet, but there is an end result for those great leaders. So in closing, I'd love to thank Findorf and Bray. I keep thinking of reasons to break things here, to bring a couple of the workers back, because they're a lot of fun. Um, but it has been awesome, and I'm excited to welcome you into our building. So your job now is to take your map and quiz those shorter people that are at each station. They better be smiling, and they better be ready to answer all your questions and try to stump them. Welcome. I'm glad to have a bigger space for the orchestra room because it used to be crammed into a little closet, and it's nice to have a spot for the chairs and the instruments. And we also like the skylights because it saves a ton of energy and instead of like using power all the time. So and it saves a lot of energy and we like those hooks in, in the closet because uh, we don't have to hang them on top of our hook or like our cubbies anymore. So and we can put them in here so it's a much safer place for the instruments. So they don't fall and break or anything. And the big TV's nice, that so then we can, she can put up like songs and then we can like play them on there. And they're also in her books. It's also better because um, we have more room so we don't have to like have all the chairs crowded like really in together. Yeah. It's really good to have room. Yeah. yeah, it's nice to have space so you're not that cramped. Yeah. This is the kindergarten area. My name's Shannon. And I'm Alyssa. And uh, these two new rooms, uh, they were added so that all the kindergarten rooms can be together and uh, so because the n two new ones were actually, they were together but they were like far from the other two. So your fact? It also allows us um, to make three new rooms out of the two old rooms mm -hmm. and it all used to be part of the old cafeteria. Music room, the old one was about half the size. This is also the old cafeteria. And um, we have like a lot better space. This is the choir room, right? Yeah, this is also the choir room. And those are sound clouds. Where are sound clouds? They help so it doesn't get so loud. Yeah. Um, this used to be like half the size. Half of this was half the size of the old music room. So now we can do like a lot more activities around this whole space. We can do real uh, music, circle games, all of that stuff. And also we can uh, work around the room more. And also we can uh, stretch our legs if we need to. Like when we're sitting down, we can just come back here and stand while so what was working. This? What was this? This was the so the library has the enclosed walls now. And when they didn't have the enclosed walls, there was traffic in the hallways. And you couldn't hear anything in the hallway. So the old cafeteria used to be blah. It was, it was maybe a little bit it bigger was. than um, three, three fourths of the size or so. So they had some improvements. So this is what they did. They made, they put the. They put a music room, a new music room, and a new orchestra room into in the cafeteria. And then next to those things are the gym, where has the gym always been. And whenever I walk past there, I'm like, uh, isn't this the lunch room? Maybe. And it just, the music room and the orchestra room are huge. Okay, and so this, um, features a stage. It's really, it's a really nice stage. The old lunchroom did not feature a stage. Um, better tables, booths, um, it windows. Was worse. It, it did not include windows, which is just mind blowing. <laughs> so I'm really excited that we got a new lunchroom with better everything. And the stage are using are used for events and the booths are for like special occasions and we're doing this like spot spot thing spot. and you have a jar of a poster jar that if you go around the school you'll see and it's and like it has dots in it and I think it's so like if you have to earn dots by uh, having acts of kindness 
and then when you get it active kindness, you can put it in your jar. Then you try you it. You don't actually put it in the jar. You tape it onto your jar, and then once you got a certain yeah, amount you of them, special. then you get something special. This is the new offer. What's new about it is it's bigger and it's better. The bonus is about it. The teachers have a meeting room, which they can create better ideas for those to school. And guys, teachers in here. The principal. There's some two help help ed teachers in here too to help students. So it's a bigger and better and and wonderful office. And, and a good good way of space because it's all in one. But it seems like no privacy, but there, it is privacy is just the best thing about the school. Really, it's so organized.